What is up guys, my name is Talha and you are watching Gadgets Sphere. So in today's video, I am going to do a full review of the Lineage OS 18.1 running in the Poco X3 Pro and I have been using this since around 2-3 days now and yeah, I am gonna do my full review and what are the things which I absolutely love in this room and there are some things which I also hate, so let's get started. Number 1, the fluidity of the room is my favorite part. Like it is very very fluid, open any app and you will understand the fluidity of this room like open dialer open any app it is like it just opens the app so quickly at times i feel like this is the smoothest room in the poco x3 pro whole lineup so that's how smooth and fluid it is you can see scrolling also works very very nicely and i have no problems in it so overall this is an amazing room the fluidity is awesome in this so in terms of fluidity it is actually better than the pixel experience plus which i have tried and also the pixel xperia plus ui like I, like these two rooms those two rooms are absolutely different now the second thing which i like about this room is its features like this room is very bare bone that's true but still there are some handy features which are absolutely amazing to have like we have the display feature in that we have one option which says display size now here you can like easily adjust the size of your display according to your liking that is really awesome so this is one feature which i absolutely love then we have this option also which basically says like show all notifications on lock screen or you can also hide or show only when unlocked so that's also very useful but now let's talk about the cons as well and in the cons the number one on the list is the biggest con for me that is it does not have face unlock like that is a big con for me but for a lot of people fingerprint sensor works absolutely fine you will be absolutely fine with it but it doesn't have face unlock and that is a deal breaker for me like i use face unlock all the time and here you can see no option for face unlock that is really really annoying like they should have provided face unlock now let's talk about its performance i have basically zero issues with this room although i haven't done any gaming in this yet but still i have basically zero issues everything is very nice nice scrolling instagram is also very very easy and fluid so that's really awesome and yeah overall this room has no issues like i have no issues in this room it's really awesome and most of the times it works really nice so in terms of performance you won't be disappointed this is basically like uh, gladiator os so that's very annoying for me bgmi does not work in this room really annoying like the worst bug ever now let's talk about its cameras like the poco x3 pro is never known for its cameras but still here in this room the camera cameras are working absolutely fine we have gcam it can take some really good quality of photos and yeah that's really awesome let me just take a photo of google and here you will get an idea of how good the quality of gcam is that's really awesome right so gcam can take some really good photos you will never be disappointed by how sharp the photos are you can literally see the pixels of my monitor screen that's really awesome so in terms of cameras we have no complaints here and performance is awesome now let's talk about the cons as i said this room you know this room doesn't have face unlock that is one con and there's one more con that is this room you know does not have unlimited storage as well in google photos you can see it doesn't have unlimited backup now that is also a con because uh, like i love to have unlimited backup that is very very useful and handy at times you know so that is one thing and you know one thing which i absolutely love in this room that is its bluetooth connectivity now the bluetooth connectivity in this room is crazy good like i have connected my mev duo pods with it and you know what happened like the whole night it was connected without even a single disconnection that was so good i woke up in the morning and i realized oh the pods are connected so that's really awesome so yeah the bluetooth connectivity is really strong in this room no problems in that regard and yeah overall this room is very bare bone but it is better than arrow os because of the fact the smoothness is way better than arrow os like it's so smooth man and yeah at times you will see bugs like in instagram if you open someone's story like this and you want to quit this story there is a little bit of lag uh, you know at times it does happen you can see a little bit of lag there and also sometimes when you scroll so fast you will feel a bit of lag but overall this is very smooth again as i said no problems in terms of the smoothness it's a good room now let's talk about its speakers now in the first impressions video in where in the video where i just wrote impressions i did not talk about the speakers but right now i'm gonna talk about the speakers as well and yeah the speakers are really awesome let me just show you by playing an ncs video right now 
so I have this let's type NCS NCS music and show you the speaker quality it's really awesome in this like in this room the top speaker works very very nicely like it actually surprised me at times the top speaker wasn't that good in the Poco X3 Pro's original room but here it is awesome let me just show you let's just play this okay okay these ads are gonna get me demonetized yeah see this As you guys have seen the speakers are really really awesome I have no complaints in that regard and there's one complaint as well in like let's talk about the complaints again now in terms of the complaints there's one complaint as well that is in lower brightness in this room like if I do the brightness very low or something like this in real life it does not look good I don't know why the colors become so muted in low in low brightness in this room like look at the colors now and let me just increase the brightness and look at the colors now I don't know why the colors saturation increases after increasing the brightness that is I think a bug in this room and when you decrease the brightness the saturation also decreases that is a bug and yeah if you want to use it normally you should do this uh, like at least this much brightness that's because this room's brightness is a little low in day-to-day -day usage and I have been using it mostly outdoors that's why I think I have noticed these issues but normally a person who will use indoors will not notice these issues and they're not a deal breaker for me like I have no problem with it just increase the brightness dude what's the problem so overall this is an awesome room i have no problems with it it's amazing working has everything in it like literally everything is present the speakers are awesome display quality is also awesome saturation is also very nice in normal brightness app open animations are my favorite literally look at the close animation okay there you go let's just wait for the camera to focus and boom so app open animations are just amazing you have no problems no complaints switching between apps no problems so overall this is an amazing room and that's pretty much it for today's video what do you think tell me in the comments below make sure you smash the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like that thanks for watching catch you in the next one peace out